As shaitan doesn't know what you're thinking about. As shaitan only looks at you from the outside. As shaitan doesn't know what you're thinking about. So whenever as shaitan throws something blasphemous in your mind, intabahna whispers for you, act as if he didn't whisper. Act as if he didn't whisper. The shaitan, when he whispers to you, and then he sees you, you were watching a movie, you were reading a book, and then you said, Khalas, be quiet, be quiet, I have to concentrate on something. Uh -huh. The shaitan will say, huh? The prey took the bite. And now, try to escape from my hands. And he keeps on whispering, 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 until the person goes crazy. Act as if you didn't hear him. And as shaitan, mind you, he will start the whispering about something not blasphemy. Think about soccer, think about basketball, think about the food, think about your friends, and then boop, he throws the blasphemous, what? The blasphemous thought in order for you to think that you are the one who brought this thought. Do you understand what he's doing? He's whispering something halal to you to make you think that you are the one who's thinking willingly about all this. So when he throws the blasphemous uh, thought, he wants you to think that you are the one who brought it. You are not the one who brought it. Stand up for yourself. Say to a shaitan inside, say to a shaitan, shut up and move on with your life or else you're going to make your life difficult and the life of those who are around you very, very difficult.